hey, how you doing? You uh, you're five knuckle gamers, yeah. So I just uh, walked out of a movie. You know that movie with uh, that guy. You know that uh, Johnny Depp guy who played the Mad Hat and uh, I don't know Alice in Wonderland or some or uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how Italians talk. So yeah. Anyways, I saw Black Mass in theaters and. It was actually good. This is the first movie I can say I actually liked that I've reviewed for this channel. Um, you all saw Johnny Depp's performance, and it is just as good as it was in the trailers. It didn't disappoint a bit. Uh, this biopic of Whitey Bulger was interesting. You know, all these characters and perspectives, everyone he interacted with, I felt, all got the right amount of attention. Maybe a little bit more on the FBI guy, but what can you do? <coughs> And it was decently shot as well. You know, some of the shots in this movie I envy and wish I could get for myself. Whitey Bulger, if you don't know, was an FBI informant for years and used that position to kill competition and essentially take over the area. And this is, of course, the biopic, mostly starting off from how his relationship began with the FBI and slowly transitioned to the end of how it was with the FBI. An interesting journey along the way. A few um, clips here and there as we slowly explore this person's life and how he slowly changes as an individual, which to me could have been done better, but I'll get to that in the spoiler section of the review. Anyways, to wrap it up, it was decently shot. It was good acting. You know, Johnny Depp, he goes back to a good dramatic acting role again instead of the Silly ones you always do. I like the silly ones, but you know, mixed up a little bit. And of course, decently shot. What would I rate this movie? I had rated about a uh, 4 out of 5. I genuinely liked this movie, the first 4 out of 5 for the channel. Okay. Spoiler time. Now, of course, we're doing this spoiler section. There's not a lot I had to talk about, but. There was something odd about some of the deaths in the movie. Now, for the most part, you saw the deaths and you saw their impacts. He's, uh, he's... No, no, get out of here, get out of here. This is my show, all right? It's my show, I got the spotlight. This fucking guy, this, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. This fucking guy, always fucking with my shots. So, of course, as you saw in the movie, um, Whitey's son dies and Whitey's mother dies. Now, the odd thing with these deaths is that we are told they're dead, not shown they're dead. And so far as with every single death in the movie, we saw how the people died except for the son and the mother. And we're only told about it after the fact and told it changed Whitey, it affected Whitey. But what would have been really good and what would have made this movie a lot better is if it showed us how it affected Whitey. Now, granted, you can kind of see in the film his actions and how they're a little bit different from how he probably would have done things. But for the most part, there's no real impact scene. We don't get an emotional scene, really, of him grieving over the death of his son. Besides, um, you know, besides him getting into it with his wife over pulling the kid's plug, we don't really see him emotionally affected by the death of his son and not much emotional affection with the mother. Although I excuse that one because of course he does the whole, oh yeah, I'm gonna go off and be alone thing. So we can just assume yeah, he hid his emotions in that instant. Yeah, fine, fair enough. But a good emotional scene would have made this movie a lot better for me. Yeah, if you're walking into this expecting good fellas, uh, it's not quite that. Have I been looking at that the entire fucking time? I just realized I've been looking at that screen the entire time, so now it's gonna look really weird for the camera. I'm a jackass. I suppose another thing that kind of bothered me with the movie, I don't know, maybe this was an artistic direction, you know, I'm not gonna pretend like I do this any better. It just came across as a little odd for me. Um, some of the effects where the people are being shot didn't come across as well as others. Like, the first one seemed a little odd to me, um, where the guy in the motorcycle pulls up to the car and shoots the guy inside. I don't know, that effect wasn't done that well for me. I, I don't know what about it I didn't like. It's probably like the blood splatter on the windshield, but no external wounds on the face. I, I don't know. I don't know, it just didn't come across as well. 
Anyways, that's, yeah, my review of Black Mass. Uh, I find that movies I like, as it progresses, the more I like it, the shorter the review will be, because there's probably a lot less complaining I'll do. So, you know, if, a, if I have a review that's about 20 minutes long, you can know I hated that film. And if it's like 5 minutes long, then you know it got 5 out of 5 or something. But, anyways, Black Mass.